Welcome back to an introduction to LearnDash. In the last video, we learned how to edit and update lessons. We learned how to drip out lessons over a certain period of time, and we looked at the course progression shortcode. In this video, we are going to take a look at editing our topics. So let's go to the WordPress dashboard to learn dash LMS topics. Now, again, you'll see that we have some pre-populated topics for us based on the course builder. You'll also see the familiar tabbed interface across the top. So we'll take a look at topic options and you'll see that we have our topic taxonomies. We will uncheck the WordPress post categories and tags and we will exclude our topics from search. We'll go ahead and save this, and we're left with our topic categories and topic tags. So let's go back to the topics listing. So we will choose one of our topics from the list, and let's do choosing your topic. So the first thing you'll notice is the familiar editor. We have our title, our URL, our editing area. So again, just like in the last lesson, we're going to select create your own podcast from the course switcher so that we can see this lesson in context. We'll also add some text to our editor area. And once our content is added, we will go and look at the topic options. So we've got our topic materials. We've got forced topic timer. We have upload an assignment and we have enable video progression. We've looked at all of these except for the last one. So let's take a closer look at video progression. This essentially means that we can make a video for our lesson and we can ensure that the students are watching the video before they move on to the next lesson or topic. So the first thing we have is our video URL. This is essentially a video from YouTube or Vimeo uh, or some other supported services here. And this will be the URL that gets embedded into our lesson. So we're going to go to YouTube and we're going to grab this video's URL. And we're going to paste it there. Now, the following options are things that allow us to control the experience for the video. For example, do we want the video to automatically start on page load? We're going to keep this unchecked. We can also choose to show or hide the video controls by default the video controls are disabled. This means that the user can't just skip ahead to the end of the video in order to kind of game the system. So we're going to keep that unchecked. We can choose when to show the video, either after the content or before. Uh, so this says video is shown before completing sub steps. That is anything else in the topic or lesson. We're gonna choose before. So it'll sit right at the top of our topic. You'll notice that when I chose that the autocomplete topic went away, this allows you to choose to autocomplete the topic, but only if the video is the last thing they have to do. So again, we're going to sacrifice that for uh, allowing our video to sit at the top of the content in our topic instead of the bottom. So with that, we will click update and we will view our topic. So you can see our video is embedded here and the controls are hidden. You'll also notice that mark complete is grayed out and that's because we have not completed the video yet. So we'll let this video play and then we will come back. All right, so you can see once the video ends, we can mark this complete. When we mark a topic complete, we will automatically move on to the next topic. When we go back to our lesson, you'll also notice that course progression has moved along as well. So that's it for this video. In it, we learned how to modify our topics as well as use video progression. In the next video, we are going to create quizzes.